Neon Fox, cremated remains that could have ended up in the trash turn out to be those of a St. Louis County Korean War veteran. Here's Fox 2's Andy Banker with a man who's stepping up to make sure this veteran gets a proper farewell 12 years after his death. Mark Leahy runs a home clean-out service. He found the dark brown and white boxes you see at an empty house he was hired to clean. Well, I wasn't going to throw it away in a, the trash. He had no idea the boxes would lead him to Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery. Labels on those boxes said they contained the cremated remains of a man and his wife. I called the the people that actually cremated them, and, they, and they're the ones that originally advised me that they were possibly a Marine and, and should have been buried at Jefferson Barracks. Leahy credits cemetery staff with helping him navigate the paperwork for a military funeral here after a search for relatives was unsuccessful. The man was a Korean War Marine Corps veteran who died in 2012. His name is not being released. Leahy now has received another box. This one has the flag to be used when the Marine and his wife are laid to rest at last. It's just the right thing to do. You know, that's, that's all it comes down to. It's just the right thing to do. You know, I've got so many friends that are gonna come out, you know, and I've told a few other people and they're calling people. An interment service with full military honors is set for Friday morning at 1030. With no member of the Marines family coming forward, Mark Leahy's son, an active duty Marine from the Chicago area, will be here to accept the flag of his fellow Marine. At Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.